one thing a lot of people don't realize is that if they're going to put a lot of time and energy into any type of wood crafting projects at camp, one important aspect to consider is removing the bark from the wood and timber that you're working with. And it's a twofold reason. Uh, when you cut down a tree and you leave the bark on, two things happen. Number one, it's more prone to bugs. Bugs will get in between the bark and the wood and actually cause rot and decay between the two layers. And that's going to, over time, break down your timber a lot quicker and ruin your project. The second reason is very, very similar. It's the fact that moisture is going to build up between the timber and the bark, the inside of the bark, and rot the wood away. I know everybody that's spent any time in the woods has probably had both of these things happen to them. Number one, you think a tree's okay, you're going down a hill, you grab it, the tree breaks, the bark was on, everything else was fine. The tree died, that moisture got between the bark and the inner timber broke apart. Or you built a nice tripod or something out in the woods and uh, you go to move it one day and the leg breaks, the bark's still on everything, you just you don't understand why it's just all rotted. You figured, oh, it was rotted on the inside. Well, it's because you left the bark on. So taking the bark off needs to be an important consideration when making more long-term sustainable type camp implements and furniture. Here we have a workbench or a cobbler's type bench. We have a saw buck. If you're gonna build any type of structures with larger timbers from cabin building, even if it's a three-sided structure or even a raised bed, it's a good thing maybe to take that bark off. Now, if you're gonna make a quick tripod or a cook kitchen just at a camp for an evening, you don't need to go through all this hassle. But if you're gonna put the time in to make these bigger things, um, benches and stools, stuff like that, take the time and take the bark off. So there's a couple different tools I wanted to talk today to everybody about to get the job done appropriately. Now you don't need to use, these tools are all pretty much interchangeable, but it's gonna make your life a lot easier. And I always like to share these things with everybody because sometimes somebody will say, oh, I didn't even know that was something like that existed. So let's start with larger lumber. So let's say lumber anywhere from eight to 12 inches or larger. Um, the tool of choice really there is gonna be a barking spud. And these are specifically made to debark timber okay there's a couple different styles of these and I'm going to show you these in action here shortly but a barking spud would be your go-to choice for that if you have trees for legs or um, stools anything like that that we're getting more into the two inch to eight inch range type of material one of the best choices you can pick is going to be a draw knife now draw knives can be found on eBay you can find them at flea markets sometimes even at yard sales quite cheap so you just need to look around the reason that this works better with a little bit smaller diameter piece of wood is that a larger timber is very hard to twist and turn and you're usually working longer sections when you start to get into again two to eight inch pieces in diameter of lumber you can really put that against something you can lean into it and you can twist it and turn it and work the lumber a little bit better. You're going to use just a drawing motion like this, which I'm going to show you shortly. And um, it's going to make life very easy and goes, it's a very quick, simple process. Anything smaller than that, two inches and under, um, you really can do two different things. You can take your knife and just slide your knife down and peel off the bark. Or you can take your axe, again, choke up on it, slide it down and peel off the bark. Um, you really don't need these other tools for anything small like that. But again, everything's interchangeable. You can debark a tree with an ax and a knife. It's just going to take a long time and it's going to be very tiresome. You can use a draw knife for a large timber. You know, you can also take a draw knife and use it on one inch sapling. So there's a variety of different things that you can use. But if you're using the right tool, it just makes life a lot easier. So let's uh, go out. We'll grab some different things and we'll show you how each tool works. Okay, so first thing we're gonna look at today is cutting smaller saplings or sticks if you would need to take the bark off of anything like this. One of the easiest things to do, guys, is just get your knife and then just slide, slide it down. Take your time with it. Just try to get on that edge and take that bark off, okay? So you can see once you get going. Okay, we're getting that bark off and we'll be good to go. That's gonna be one of the easiest ways to do that. You can also, we'll flip this around, grab your ax, just choke up on your ax again, and slice that off, okay? Very easy. Just takes a little bit of time, but again, we wanna make a project here that's gonna last a long time. So take the time and get all that outer bark off. Okay guys, so you can see now we went with a little bit bigger piece of wood. 
Now this is a piece of tulip poplar. This has been down for about two months. So I don't know if it's still gonna be green inside, but you can see this draw knife, you just stick underneath, pull that down. Sometimes you gotta clean the blade off a little bit, but that's it. You're just getting down in there and cleaning off that outer bark. Now with something like tulip poplar, you wanna make sure you get that inner bark out too um, to really get down just to the wood, okay? So you can see how easy it comes off with that. And again, it's manageable. You see how I'm twisting and turning? Very easy. The bark spud, which looks like this, okay, is gonna be best used for larger type timbers. And this is just, this is a hand forged one that I recently acquired. It has a flat side, tops rounded, and the top ends beveled. And these are very easy to use. And the reason I say they're better for larger lumber is because I think just your body positioning to use these, you have more power using this compared to a draw knife. Trying to move a big timber around uh, could be quite tiresome after some time along with trying to get in the right position to use a draw knife. So this works far better. And how you use one of these is, you can start in the middle log if you would want to, but the best is you're gonna probably have a cut because you're using the timber for something. Take your barking spud, just like this on the end, and just get in there, and you just start to dig in. Once you get it going, you'll see, you can pull that away. Now, of course, this timber has been sitting out for a while, so it's a little bit tougher. To get in there but you can see the how we actually do that you know you can peel that back pull it away and just start to work it down and that's going to get that outer bark off and get you down to the wood that you want so that is a bark spud so there are three tools that you guys can use to debark any type of timber that you're going to be working with and again getting that off is going to save the wood it's going to just make your projects longevity last so much more um, so when you're going to put time and energy into something like that you want it to last so definitely get that bark off that and it will do real real well over the long haul I hope that everybody enjoyed this video. Again, if you haven't already, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com for all our upcoming classes and merchandise. And until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.